Well, hi there. This is Bill Prankert, and it's Thursday. It's Mentoring Moments. Take about five minutes, answer one of the questions. Question this week, how do I forgive a person who has destroyed my trust? That happens. First time it happened was with God. God created Adam and Eve, gave them everything, blessed them, paradise, abundance. I mean, you want to see biblical prosperity, look in the Garden of Eden. And uh, God came down every day, walked with him. They were friends. They were close. Adam was created in the image of God. And you know the story. Adam sinned. Eve sinned. But Adam sinned too. And went hiding. And you see God standing in the garden with a broken heart, calling him, where are you? knowing where he was. He hid himself. And that right in the garden, you know, he could have done what you feel like doing and saying, look, I gave you a chance. I gave you everything. That's done. I'm done. That's over. You're, you're going to spend eternity in hell. He stands there with a broken heart and says, Adam, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to send somebody to bruise the head of the serpent, destroy his works so you and I can be friends again. I, I've had that experience. There was a situation where um, someone that I had really helped, blessed, launched into ministry, walked with, poured into, did everything could to destroy me. And um, it was really hard. Tried to destroy my family, my marriage, um, the ministry, everything. It was really hard. And, um, you know, I, I had to process this. There was a long time I, I couldn't pray for that person. If I'd prayed for them, I would have said, God, get them. <laughs> like, you know, um, it was so wrong. It was so evil. And um, I came to the point where I knew that I had to forgive. And, um, but my, my advisors told me, uh, my spiritual advisors, legal advisors, everybody said, okay, you can forgive them. But never put yourself in a position again when they can do this to you again. In other words, you can forgive them without trusting them again. And when you forgive, you're not, you're not letting them off the hook. Because if they've done something wrong, they'll, they'll stand before God and give an account for it. God will deal with that. But if you don't forgive them, you're letting them keep you prisoner. It's about you. When you forgive somebody, you're giving them a gift they don't deserve, but you are releasing yourself. And I'm telling you, when I literally forgave them, I felt like a weight lifted off of me. I was free. And I could actually pray for them and their family that God would bless them and help them. I've seen them on a few occasions, and it's fine. I don't feel any any anger, any anything, really, and, um, but I would never put myself in a position where they could do it again. And so, you know, well, because um, tr trust has to be earned. And once trust is broken, it's a long way back. And a lot of people, they, they don't do anything to earn your trust back. But that's nothing to do with forgiveness. They're two totally separate things. So I encourage you today, to ask God to give you what you need to forgive the people that have hurt you, forgive the people who have broken your trust, and then make sure that the people in your life and the people that you trust and the people that you um, confide in are, are the people that will keep the trust and people that have earned the trust. But forgiveness is very important because God says he'll forgive us as we forgive others. That's a big deal. And so today, be free. Be free. You can free yourself. That person isn't going to do it. You can do it. Forgive them and move on. God bless you. This is Bill Prankert, and this is Mentoring Moments.